What is up everyone, Mars here bringing you guys the news in the flash, let's get right into it. We got a new trailer for Fantastic Beast: The Crimes of Grindelwald, which, it looks alright. I mean, I, I don't, I want to see it before I make any sort of judgment calls on it, because I'm not going to lie. As a Harry Potter, Potter fan, and uh, knowing that these movies are part of the same universe, I was not a fan of the first one. I just thought it was a pretty bland story that was kind of all over the place, while at the same time still trying to focus on setting up this whole Dumbledore versus Grindelwald story. Which pretty, should have probably been its own movie. And instead of you know this one actually trying to flesh out interesting new stories that would expand the lore of the universe. And the second one seems to be kind of following in the same footsteps. So I don't really know how I should feel about it at this point. I, I gotta see it to make any sort of judgment call. But if you guys are interested in checking out the trailer, it'll be down below. We got a new story trailer for the Spider-Man game coming from Insomniac Games for PlayStation 4. And it gives us our first look at Norman Osborn, who is the mayor of New York and is running a, his re-election bid on bringing order to the city. And he's not a, taking any chances this time around. He's bringing the Silver Sable and her security force to not only assist in this, but also to stop the Spider-Man, who they believe is contributing to all that mess. It's actually a really cool story trailer. I enjoyed it. I'm actually really excited to check this game out. You know, it's been a while since we actually had a decent Spider-Man game, so hopefully this one is pretty good. We got a new trailer for the next DC movie, Aquaman, which is looking pretty good at this point. I'm not, I'm, I'm actually surprised because I've never really been a big Aquaman fan. I kind of always talk shit about him because he, he talks to fish, but you know, he's pretty cool. Having an army of sharks is pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. And along with that, we also got a new trailer for Shazam, which I thought that was, I thought that was pretty interesting. Kind of had this. It kind of looks like DC was going more for this, like, Spider-Man vibe with its high school drama stuff um, mixed in with, you know, more comedy. And I'm interested to see what the results of that are. But one of the most exciting trailers that we got was the announcement that Star Wars The Clone Wars is coming back for its seventh final season. As many of you know, that series was originally canceled a while back, and I was bummed because I really enjoyed that series. But I am thrilled to hear that it is coming back. I think it's only coming on Disney streaming service, though, so there is that. And the art style is a tad bit different this time around. But either way around, I'm still very interested in it. Now let's get into some new music. We got Beartooth has released their, their new song, Bad Listeners. We have Hailstorm who's released their new song, Do Not Disturb. We have Fall Out Boy who dropped an awesome new music video for their song, Bishop's Knife Trick. And we've got From First to Last putting out their new single featuring Sonny Moore called Surrender. Check out all of those down below in the description. And now it's time for some things that are awesome. We got a crazy tale from Jordan Buckley of Every Time I Die on Twitter who actually describes the story of a fan who actually had their life saved by attending an Every Time I Die show. Here's what Jordan Buckley says happened. A lady came up to me and said, I saw you guys a little bit ago and you spit beer in the air and I was in front and got some in my eye. I apologized. Said our shows got wacky, never know what's going to happen. I was probably just trying to mimic somebody way cooler than me. She said the next day it was still bothering her. She thought her eye was infected, so she went to the doctor. I apologize ten more times, braced myself for a lawsuit. So she went to the doctor. They did test. Doctor said she didn't have an eye infection. She had a brain tumor. But they caught it early enough to perform surgery on it and remove it. She said it never would have gotten caught had she not gone in. She then thanked me for saving her life. Point being, if you come to an Every Time I Die show, it could save your life. That is just a fantastic story. It's probably one of the best stories I've heard in quite a while, to be honest with you guys. And I just had to share it with you. What's also pretty cool is I've actually been to an Every Time I Die show twice, I think. And they are phenomenal. Both, both times I saw them at Warp Tour. And I can tell you guys from personal experience that they are as good live as they are on their records. It was just fantastic. I love the energy around their shows. And if I could, I would definitely go again. And, you know, every time I die is usually on a tour every other year or something like that. So they're definitely going to be around again, and I'm definitely going to go see them again. But, yeah, that's it for this episode. Again, another short one. I don't like the short one, guys. But you know what? At this point, the music news is kind of slowing down. Actually, the entertainment news is kind of slowing down. It'll start picking up again. But I'm still going to try and crank these out for you guys. Hopefully, you'll bear with me. I will see you all in the next one. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Dislike if you didn't. Subscribe if you want more. And as always, till the next one, Mars out.